What's up YouTube? So we are in here in the garage today and that means one thing install time finally after around maybe a year or so waiting to boost the car it's finally happening as always I got this used on the um, marketplace and I got a good deal on it then again there are some downsides in buying a used turbo kit as you guys don't already notice a couple of things are in plastic bags and that is because I needed to order a couple of parts to actually make this a complete kit now for what it is it's already a good deal but it would have been a better deal if the guy didn't really uh, kind of misinformed me there were uh, a couple of things that were kind of missing in, in the turbo kit which uh, I found out after buying it and taking it home with me you always have to check for it but I guess I trusted the guy because he had the boxes and everything all prepared all arranged and organized and I just kind of just went on and said all right here you go take it you take the money and you go our separate ways now granted I did check it out but a couple of minor things that I didn't check out were actually missing I would sit I would still say that it's still a good deal just because it's still I got everything under half price basically everything that you guys see over here and the thing that makes it basically worth it is because this oil cooler right here now it does look brand new the guy said that it only had 60 miles on it he had to sell the stuff because he was buying a car or whatever and uh, Usually those things cost around $550 out the door and kind of just included in the kit. That one's also missing something. Um, it's the bracket that goes in the bumper, but either way, I can probably just make something, zip tie it or whatever, and work with, work with, basically work with what I got here. Now, again, the missing stuff were kind of minor, but still kind of pricey. For example, I did check out the turbo and I did not notice that it, it was missing a wastegate valve, um, which is kind of stupid, I know, but this is my first time actually looking at a turbo or holding one and didn't realize that a wastegate actually bolts onto right there. And you guys can see this thing, the flapper that opens up the wastegate or the thing on the back make sure that engine doesn't blow up but yeah now the, the things right here that are in the bag are basically bolts and nuts washers gaskets all the important stuff also some of the missing stuff uh, the brackets no, nothing really major and you have a few gaskets uh, heat shield that wasn't there again the waste gate and some silicone hoses weren't really a big deal because I wanted to use new ones either way and the only thing that was kind of pricey but maybe worth it is these ones it does come with a blue silicone hose but we do have a red car and blue and red doesn't really match in my eyes so I did order a pair of black silicone hoses and finally, this my OCD is basically kicking me in the ass because that thing's still blue. So I gotta either find a red one or a black one. And those can be really pricey, maybe someone willing to trade. I don't know. We'll get there. But yeah, also got the uh, one of the things that makes it a good deal is I got the pre welded oil pan. Um, other than that, couple of necessary stuff like Loctite, oil pan sealant, tread sealant, and antifreeze, some heat shield for some wires and hoses, finally hoses and clamps right there. But yeah, hoping to get this installed really quickly. Well, not really quickly, but maybe for you guys. But it probably takes me a couple of days, maybe one or two, and pushing it three. But hopefully I get this in with no hassle. Other than that, I'm gonna go ahead and get started with the install. 
stay tuned